A reading of the New Testament from the Gullah Bible as rendered by the Gullah culture. Uh, we go as usual to any page in the Bible, the New Testament of the Gullah Bible, that is. What's it? Ephesians? E P H. E S I A N S. However, you say Epiphanies, Epiphanies. Uh, four. Let's go to uh, 19. Uh, as you know, we read from the uh, Gullah Bible each morning. Well, often. Let's put it that way. I shouldn't shouldn't say each morning because I travel a lot sometimes. I do them. So something like that. We'll, 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 we'll work something out. And uh, and uh, the Gullah Bible. This is the uh, this is the King James version of the Bible as rendered by the, the Gullah people. As I said, now it looks like this. You see, put it upside down for you. This that's the Gullah, and that's the King James uh, translation, vice versa. Uh, and it's well, it's a translation. The, well, the Gullah translated the King James version because that's the only thing they had available when they were. Uh, when they were uh, unenslaved, uh, are you, however you want to say that. And um, so that's how I learned to read. And uh, since my uh, great-grandfather is Gullah Geechee, I have no ties uh, to that culture down in South Carolina, so I figured at some particular point that what I would do is I would uh, just try somehow to have an entree into, into that lineage. Uh, right now, I have to use this for the... But, well, let's, let's just start and see what happens. I said 19, right? Okay, here we go. They ain't got no shame about nothing no more. They make uh, up their mind for a week all the time in the even way. They live loose life and they don't want for all, for do all kind of evil thing mo and mo and uh i use this because my uh wow my reading glasses are still in well, they're in, they're in the eastern cape of southern africa so this is a um, uh, this is a, a way to read uh, that small print okay we said 19. okay who being past feeling have given themselves over unto luscious lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Oh, that's what I read? Wow, what a different translation. Let's read it again. It's together. They ain't got no shame about nothing no more. They make up their mind for a week all the time and the evil way they live loose life and they then want for do all kind of evil thing no mo and mo wow now you see the difference between uh the king james and gullah let's read that king james again uh, i hope i'm reading yeah 19 that's what it says 19. who being past the feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness and greediness. Wow. That's really interesting. See, there's a big difference like that. Uh, I usually only read the, uh, the Gullah twice and the, the um, translation twice. But let me just read this Gullah one more time. I sort of, I like, I like it. I mean, I like the, I like it. <laughs> 19. Here we go. They ain't got no... Mo shame about nothing no more. They make up they make up their mind for a week all the time and the evil ways. They live loose life and they don't want for 
do all kind of evil thing more and more. That's from page 665 of the uh, Bella Bible. That was, uh, I don't know how to say it, Epiphanes? Epiphanes, I guess I, I'm, I'm not a Christian. Well, I grew up, da, 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 da. I'm, I'm an eclectic pluralist. <laughs> that's what I am, which means I, go, I can go any place. But that's, that's heavy. Okay. It's a little something every morning for me. Tea from the Pattersons taking the fancy spit, letting you know what I only suspect.